Hi guys, I'm Jack Wong and welcome to Why This Print Fail. It is a wonderful morning. You approach your 3D printer to collect your 3D printer part and notice this. What? Did I print a staircase? No, I'm 100% sure that this is not what I was printing yesterday. Ah, oh, it is a whole night of printing wasted. So, in this video, we will be talking about the staircase effect on your printing parts. The main reason of this failure is due to the skipping steps of your motor drivers. This problem is mainly known as layer shift. Most of the time, this happens in X and Y axis. This is because X and Y axis are usually moving a lot more compared to the Z axis. However, there will still be some situation where Z axis motor skip steps too. But that is another problem named bending effect, which we will most probably cover it soon in the other video. Back to the staircase effect. When the stepper motor skips steps, it means that the movement is not being done and is not known by the 3D printer. The 3D printer assumes that the movements are always done properly and proceed to the next movement causing the layers to shift. So, here are a few reasons for the printer stepper motor to lose its steps, causing layer shifting. The first reason will be the overheating of the stepper motor driver. It is normal that a stepper motor driver to be hot and that is also a reason why there is a heat sink on it at the first place. But in some case, if your stepper driver rated current is not set correctly, the stepper motor driver can become unacceptably hot. This will cause the stepper motor to lose efficiency and skip its motor steps. Most of the time, this happens to improper calibrated homemade 3D printer where less attention is being paid at the setting of the current flow to the stepper motor driver. The second reason will be printing with too high speed. Most of the time, 3D printer speed are around 30 mm per second to 60 mm per second depending on the type of the printer and the parts it prints. If you are printing in an extreme speed, sometimes your stepper motor might fail to keep up with the movement causing the skipping of steps. The third reason might be the loosened belt and pulley of the motor axis. Optimum tensions on the motor pulley belt is needed for it to stick on the teeth of the pulley gear. If your belting system is too loose, then motor pulley belt will slip across the gear teeth during the printing, thus causing the layer shifting. The fourth reason may be too high jerk setting of the stepper motor. A jerk is a threshold for minimum speed requiring acceleration or decelerations. For example, if your jerk value is set at 20 mm per second, any movement below it will not require accelerations or decelerations. It is a bit tricky to understand the concept of jerk. However, imagine that you are driving at a high speed. When you reach a sharp corner, your first instinct will be decelerating the car and then make a sharp turn, right? Let's say your driving speed jerk is 100 km per hour. It will mean that any speed below 100 km per hour, you will not decelerate while making the turn. Obviously, your car will most probably roll over and give you an accident. So same concept applies to your 3D printer. The fifth reason will be collisions of the nozzle onto the 3D printed part. For some scenario, when a moving nozzle drag on the excess materials on the surface of the existing printing part, the force generated by the drag might cause the stepper motor to lose its steps. These situations are such as partially detached printing part or warping of the printed part causing the top surface of the printed part to be lifted. Also, if the mechanical movement of the axis are blocked by external force, the stepper motor will lose its step as well. Now we have known some of the reasons behind the happening of the failure, let's find out the solutions for them. For the first reason, overheating of the stepper motor driver. The solution is to make sure that all the vent and air passage to your motherboard and stepper drivers are not jammed. Make some cleanup if you find out that the ventilation grills are being covered with trap dust. This will restore the ventilation of air to cool down the electronic parts. Also, you can install a small fan to increase the air ventilations at the electronic parts to better cool them down.
For the second reason, printing with too high speed. This will be an easy fix. All you need is to tune down your speed of your 3D printing. You might try to reduce your printing speed 5mm per second each time and observe if the problem persists. Besides, printing in slower speed will also improve the quality of your printing. So what is the rush, right? For the third reason, loosen belt and pulley of the motor axis. You won't need to check out for your pulley and belting system. If you observe a slump at the belt, it is most likely that the belt is too loose. Try to tighten the belt of the axis by adjusting the position of the pulley wheel. After the adjustment, try touching the belt and you should feel a little elastic behavior of the belt. Be aware that you should not tighten the belt too much causing the belt to snap. Meanwhile, you can also add some routine maintenance to the belts and pulleys to check if they are still in good condition. The fourth reason is too high jerk setting. For this fix, you can go to the setting in your slicer application and try to adjust the jerk of the 3D printer stepper motor. It is usually located at the speed and accelerations section. Try to lower the jerk down by 5mm per second each time and observe if the problem solved. The fifth reason is the collision of the nozzle onto the printed part. Check the affected moving axis and look for any disturbance or blocking at the axis moving components. Remove any blockage or disturbance along the axis and make sure that the extruder can move smoothly across it. If you are suspecting that the nozzle is blocked by the printed part during the printing process, you can apply Zack hooks in your slicer so that each time when the extruder tries to go past printed surface, it will increase its Zack level height to prevent any scratches or collisions with the printed parts. Finally, here comes to the end of this video. We hope that the next time when you approach your printer, you will find your perfect printed part instead of this kind of ladder to heaven. Also, if you feel that this video is helpful, please like, subscribe and share it to your friends. You might be their savior in the journey of 3D printing. As always, thanks and happy printing.